this is my message to the Hindu community. I think with the advent of science, we now know that things like the moon and the sun and the stars and the planets, that they cannot be God. And paganism or the pantheon of idols included the the celestial bodies as well as uh, animals that we revered and animals that we feared and things of nature that we revered and things of nature that we feared. And so if there is a true religion, it cannot be a religion that puts the unlimited into a limited position. Any image is, by its very definition of being an image, is limited. And if there is an unlimited, he cannot be given an image. He cannot be the sun, the moon, or any of these images. So why, despite, and even after the fact, that there has been such a big, in the last hundred years, a clash between the Muslims and the Hindus. But uh, I invite every Hindu person who is interested to accept the premises that if there is a true religion, it cannot limit God. And if there is a true religion, it cannot be against science in the sense of the things that we empirically know today. One cannot accept the sun as God or the moon as God because they're limited. And by the definition of being limited, by the very definition of the fact that they're limited, means that they're not God. So I invite every Hindu that he and or she read the Quran from the perspective of looking for the infinite and from the perspective that whatever the Qur'an says, which the Muslims believe is the word of God, whatever Qur'an says, that it is, it is scientifically sound, that the truth corresponds to the facts. And if this is the case, if you read the Qur'an, if you actually take on this endeavor, if you actually take on this challenge for yourself, then you will be quite surprised in uh, what you find after reading the Quran. And so this is my message to the Hindu community that in a world of confusion, uh, the only solid rock, you know, in this world of confusion, we even ask if there is even a truth, if life is even meaningful if it even has a purpose. Does all of this drama of human life have a purpose? And so for this I would like to invite you to read the Quran and see for yourself if it is something that your heart inclines to. If so, then that is great. And uh, may God uh, bless you. Thank you and guide you. Bye.